Today, we will see examples related to percentages, fractions and decimals. Example 1. Mohit had red, green and blue marbles in the ratio of 5 is to 6 is to 7. Find the percentage of green marbles. Mohit had red, green and blue marbles in the ratio of 5 is to 6 is to 7. Here, we come to know that out of total parts, 5 parts are red, 6 parts are green and 7 parts are blue marbles. Here, we can say that the total marbles he has are 5 plus 6 plus 7, that is, 18 equal parts, out of which green marbles are of 6 parts. Therefore, out of the total marbles, green marbles are 6 by 18 parts. This can be written in its simplest form as 1 by 3. To express it in percentage, we need to multiply 1 by 3 by 100%. 1 by 3 into 100% is equal to 100 by 3, that is 33, 1 by 3 percent. Therefore, among the total marbles, green marbles are 33, 1 by 3 percent. Next example. Express the following percentages into decimals. 113.6% is equal to 113.6 into 1 by 100, which is equal to 1.136. To express a percentage into decimal, we will move the decimal point two positions towards the left. In 113.6, after moving the decimal point two positions towards the left, we get the decimal form 113.6 as 1.136. Similarly, to express 68.4% in decimal, we will move the decimal point two positions towards the left. Since there is no digit before the digit 6, we will write the placeholder 0. By doing so, we get the decimal form of 68.4% as 0.684. Next example. Shelley and Pyle purchased a book together. Shelley has given rupees 36 to buy the book, which is 40% of the total price of the book. Then find out how much money did Pyle give to purchase the book. This example seems very complicated, but if we use the correct understanding of percentage, then we can obtain the answer very easily. So let's find the solution of this problem. First, focus on the statement. Shelley has given rupees 36 to buy the book, which is 40% of the total price of the book. Can you tell what this means? Think for a while. Let me tell you. Let's understand it with some questions. Did Shelley pay the total price of the book? No. Out of the total price, how much part did she pay? 40%. Can we say, the amount paid by Shelley is equal to 40% of the total amount? Yes. But Shelley has given 36 rupees. So what does it mean? Think for a while. You've got it right. 36 rupees is equal to 40% of the total price. Therefore, 36 rupees is equal to 40 by 100 into total price which is equal to 2 by 5 into total price. That means 36 rupees is equal to 2 fifth into the total price. If we multiply left hand side and right hand side by the reciprocal of 2 by 5, that is 5 by 2, then we get 36 into 5 by 2 is equal to 2 by 5 into 5 by 2 into total price. That means 36 into 5 by 2 is equal to the total price. Therefore, total price is equal to 36 into 5 divided by 2 or 18 into 5, which is rupees 90. Is this the answer to the given question? No. We need to find out the amount paid by Pyle. We can find this in the following way. Amount paid by Pyle is equal to total price of the book minus amount paid by Shiley, which is equal to 90 minus 36, which is 54. Therefore, Pyle has given 54 rupees. Today, 
We have seen examples related to percentage fractions and decimals. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to this.